Hi there, we're gonna take a look this morning at how to organize your teacher activities in Seesaw. The more and more activities you create, um, teachers are saying, well, they just sit in my activity library and they're all in a pile and I like to have things neat and organized. Um, let's look at some ways that we can make your Seesaw activity side from a teacher perspective a little bit more organized. So I'm gonna click on the activities bulb here. You could also go through the green plus and add activities. And so we're gonna to go to Browse Activity Library. And so it starts us off in the Community Library and just like we can um, sort through activities in the Community Library, we can also do the same thing in our library. So let's say that I want to look for activities for my fourth graders um, that I have for English Language Arts. This is gonna put all my English language arts activities onto this page. From there, I could go on and choose to assign them. So that's one way that we can do just by sorting. So I'm gonna go back to my activity library and you'll notice at the bottom that I have this little thing called collections down here. So I have a couple collections. Collections are pretty much the folder side of the teacher folder side in Seesaw. So I'm gonna create a new collection here and I'm gonna call this special occasions. I'm gonna create that. So now you'll notice that it pops up down here. It doesn't let me choose my color, it just gives me a color. But now I have a special occasion tab. So if I click on any of these, if I click on language arts, you'll notice it says language arts up here. It loads all of my language arts items. So that's another way to organize. You'll also notice that in my collections down here, I have 21 activities that are not in a collection. It's really lovely to organize uh, this. So if we go to building vocabulary, I can click organize. I know that's gonna be building vocabulary. Um, if I'm not sure about an item, I can click it open. And this is okay, this is gonna be vocabulary again. So if I click on the three dots in the bottom right hand corner, I can also add it to collection once I've had a chance to look at it, what it is. And remember, I'm gonna put that in building vocabulary, but I would also like to put that one in language arts. So I'm gonna come back down here again, click add to collection again. I see that it's already in building vocabulary. I'm going to click on to language arts. Unfortunately, it doesn't let you click multiple folders at once. You have to go back in and do that. So now if I click on my view collection, I can see that it has been added to the bottom. And I believe that when it adds it, it puts it in to the bottom. So those are some ways that we can organize our teacher side of Seesaw.